Hey guys, good uh, Monday morning to you. Monday, uh, October the 9th. Boy, the sand is really running through the hourglass, isn't it? And uh, hey Google, good morning. Hey, Rusty. A little slow. It is 6.44 a.m. Right now in Burnett, it's 71 and clear. Today, it'll be mostly sunny with a forecasted high of 95 and a low of 55. Have a great day. Hey, Google. Tell me a joke. Okay, here you go. How did the frog burn its tongue? It tried to eat a firefly. Okay. <laughs> now we go to these comments. Oh, I was going to tell you, yesterday I did a, a video on the Kindle Paperwhite, and YouTube won't monetize it at all. Nothing. It, it won't even, whenever you try to monetize it, it says it, it just won't do it. <laughs> so, I mean, they may have cut me off entirely. I checked my account. And looks okay. I don't have any stripes. So enough said about that. Moving right on down the road. This is David. Says, says uh, this is on the RV or the uh, brake controller, I think. And he says, uh, looking fab in your monogram shirt, Mr. Fashion. Boy, I'm really a fashion plate, aren't I? I'm telling you, I am. Have a great day, partner. Thurston Howell the Third has nothing on you. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Keep taking your medication, David. You'll be fine. Uh, Sarah, RV. Oh, this is on the uh, brake controller. Fine-tuning the concepts for all of us. Thank you, Rusty. Uh, well, I'm just getting ready to pull a travel trailer, and I might as well show you all what I'm doing. <clears throat> this is on the brake controller again. It says, when you pick... This is Grandma Patty. She says, when you pick up your trailer, could you videotape the setting, and any adjustments you make with your controller. Any newbies like me, I'm sure, will be interested. Any tips on backing into spaces would be appreciated as well. Using your drill on your stabilizing jacks, using your sway bars, bars, and leveling are all things I'm interested in and see, interested is seeing others do. <clears throat> Are lug nuts uh, all standard in size? I heard they should be checked after driving a ways down the road for the first tow. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, any see uh, as far as the adjustments on the brake controller, that's pretty well individual. That's going to depend on your vehicle and what you're towing, and if it's a two, whether it's a single axle or double axle, is going to make a little difference. And uh, so you'll just have to do those adjustments uh, yourself. Uh, as far as backing into spaces, the only tip I can give you there is instead of having your hand on top of the wheel, put your hand on the bottom of the steering wheel, okay, the bottom. And if you want your, if you want your trailer to go to the left, you move your hand to the left. If you want the trailer to go to the right, you move your hand to the right, okay? That's all there is to it. That's it. Just put your hand on the bottom of the steering wheel, okay? You want, the, you want your trailer to go to the left, that way, you pull, push the steering wheel that way. You want it to go to the right, you push it that way. It's that simple. It really is. <clears throat> and you just go slow. Don't get in a hurry. You know, be, and then, you know, stop, get out and look. You know, what you need to do, though, if you're going to back into a an RV spot, you know, get out first, you know, pull up in front of the spot, get out and look at it. You know, see what things are there that you could back into without... Uh, without really noticing them, you know, like you don't want to back over the the uh, thing you hook the drain hose up to or the water spigot maybe just above the ground or something. So yeah, just check that out and then back in. Uh, as far as the stabilizing jacks, that's pretty simple. You just crank them down. And as far as leveling, uh, I don't take, I don't get too serious about leveling of the RV. I didn't get, because I, I, you, you just got to get it close. You know, if it's a half a bubble off like me, you're fine. But we'll, yeah, I'll do some videos. Don't worry about that. Uh, Rondolin 100, this is on the brake controller. It says, where are you going on your first trip in your new trailer? Or do you just decide in the morning where you're headed to that day? 
Sounds like you spend a lot of time in New Mexico, so I bet that's your first trip. That'll be the first direction I go, certainly through New Mexico and out west. <clears throat> but as far as the first trip, since I'm hoping to get my travel trailer this week or next week for sure, I'm hoping to get it later this week, we'll see. But uh, I'll probably do some, you know, this is a pretty time to be in Texas. There's no reason to be leaving Texas now. You know, October, November, December, uh, January, and February, this is the spot to be, okay? Uh, but I may do some state parks in Texas, uh, probably will, even though I think they're a little overpriced. I, I'll, I'll just have to bite the bullet. Uh, this is on the Kindle Paperwhite, like a diamond in a goat's honey. Uh, crypto anarchy, he likes that saying. I said that in a video somewhere. A guy I used to play golf with said that. Uh, this is Bama Moo on the paper white. Very nice review. Thank you. Well, I hope somebody buys some Kindle paper whites because that's all I'll get out of that video. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, for those of you that use the Amazon link, thank you very much. I appreciate it because, uh, yeah, somebody used it yesterday. And, uh, yeah, that all that adds up, believe me. And that's you know, right now the YouTube revenue is down about, oh, I don't know, thirty percent and falling, because I don't know what they're doing. I don't, but it's just that's just the way it is. You know, but as long as I can make enough to go camping with the Amazon affiliate program and YouTube, I'm good. For those you know, the, for those of you that don't know, I'm an Amazon affiliate, and I put a link to Amazon products in every description of my videos. And if you click on that link, go to Amazon and buy anything, I get a small commission and it doesn't cost you anything. So if you choose to, use the link. It helps. I'm telling you it does. I don't know what YouTube's doing, guys. But it, it, there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I've appealed and all that stuff. Nothing. Uh, Sarah on the Kindle Paperwhite. The best suggester, Rusty, you are. All will be updated in the new abode. That is wonderful. I think you can get library books on it for free. You can. I can even get local library books. Well, not local library books, but library books. <clears throat> yeah, the white color's neat. Uh, anyway, says that she loves the new turquoise or slight the updated old RVs with colors and real wood you posted. You read good stuff. Well, I, I read what I like. You know, a lot of people wouldn't like it at all. You know, Balzac is hard to read. And uh, Somerset Maugham is easier to read. And Maupassant is a little harder to read. But it, it, it's, you know, they, they have, they're so descriptive, you know what I mean? That the old authors, because, you know, back then people didn't have TVs, internet, or any of that stuff. And so when the author wrote, he had to write, be really descriptive so that people could visualize what, he, what he's seeing or she's seeing. Uh, Grandma Patty on Kindle Paperwhite. Having a built-in dictionary is definitely handy. That really did look very clear. I like it. No, it's extremely clear. I, I'm very pleased with it. And using the dictionary does help. It says check with, and this is fast bite on the Kindle. Check with your local library. If you have a library card, most li libraries now allow you to check out books <clears throat> to download on your Kindle for a certain amount of time. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure they do, but I get, I get enough free stuff from uh, Amazon uh, to last me a lifetime because the books I read are old. They're all out of date and, you know, you can get most of them for free. You know, uh, this is Brian on the Kindle. Very helpful review. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, there's a lot more to that. I could have added. I could have showed you how to use it and stuff, but it's better for you to, they have a little uh, video you can watch that shows you how to use it. And uh, <clears throat> if you watch their video, it's much better than anything I could do. Kindle, uh, B. Bowling 7-Eleven, would rather have my Samsung tablet with Kindle e-reader app or Kindle reader app. Can you watch YouTube on your Kindle Paperwhite reader? No. Uh, you can also use Kindle Cloud Reader to read books in your browser. Yeah, I know. I could read them on my laptop or I could read them on my smartphone. Uh, but uh, the reason I don't is because the, the Chromebook and the smartphone I have are harder on my eyes than the Chrome than the uh, Kindle Paperwhite. The Kindle Paperwhite is designed for people who read, and it's a soft backlit 
color that you can brighten or dim as you need to and so it's just easier on your eyes but thank you for your comment kendall jo joseph this is joseph i was going to ask you what you did to occupy your time you do a lot of reading that's what i'm guessing at this point wondering what i was going to do when i hit the road now i know thanks for the info on the kendall rusty first comment i ever saw with no punctuation way to go joseph <clears throat> yeah the kindle's great i mean and it does come in handy when you're traveling because you only got to charge it about once a month and yeah i can do that when i'm driving not a problem uh kindle uh this is ken i always watch all your videos from start to finish well thank you ken but uh, you know that could be in some cases quite considered cruel and unusual punishment i mean this is dad on Kindle looks like more stuff should be able to use your Chromebook. I could use my Chromebook, but I choose not to because the Chromebook is not as easy on my eyes as the Kindle e-reader is. Clint on the Kindle paper white, the white paper, the white reader appears more natural like when looking at the tradition, like when looking at a traditional book. No contrasting border makes it less distracting to the eye. Nice review, Rusty. It is a nice reader. And, uh, you know, right now, I think they've still got a sale going, maybe. <clears throat> RV. Well, this is on the brake controller. Uh, this is a K Kindle Paperwhite. Verlis Gin. Yeah, Gin, I guess. Good purchase. You may already know this, but they have a credit card that gives back 5% on every Amazon purchase. I know I've got their Amazon credit card for that very reason. Kindle Paperwhite Creations. Shared and a lot of emoji things. Thank you. Angela, Kindle Paperwhite. Rusty, I have researched the different Kindles. Confused as to if this one will read aloud to you. Yeah, it will like the kindle fire it will yeah it, it's it'll 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 do the the audio books <clears throat> would love something smaller lighter weight but i listen but i like to listen while i'm cooking cleaning etc yeah the uh yeah check it out but yeah i'm sure it'll do audio books i just never do them it's got the speakers <clears throat> so they're there for a reason this is living in a prius douglas by usa made when you're driving a Japanese car, laugh out loud. JK, it's made in the U USA, probably. Uh, anyway, I, I, yeah, I bought the Japanese car because at that the time, first one I bought, they didn't have any hybrids in the USA. So, but anyway, no, I like the Prius, and yeah, you're right. I don't, it was probably assembled. I don't know where it was assembled. You know, it wasn't made in the USA. You're right. RV, oh, this is the brake controller. Michael, good info. I believe you're excited to get on the road, and so am I. Yeah, Michael's getting him a Class C, uh, I guess, this Saturday, and uh, going on the road. Uh, go get them, Michael. Kendall, Paperwhite, Jane, I plan to return to more reading in the evenings when I begin traveling, so this Kindle looks perfect for the purpose. It is, because you don't have to have a reading light and uh, it's just, it's easy on your eyes. Having older eyes, the backlit display would definitely be easier on the vision. I appreciate your review. They're detailed and thorough. Thank you. But also, you can enlarge the print. See, you know, there's a lot of books you can't get in large print. I'm 72 years old, and, uh, you know, you can't do anything about it, but your vision gets worse as you get older. And uh, being able to enlarge that print makes it really nice. Uh, Tony on RV, or this is on the controller. Hi, Rusty. Thank you for advocating safety when RVing. I have a motorhome and pull a tow that weighs 2,500 pounds. That weighs more than my RV. I installed a supplemental braking system, even though many states allow up to 3,000 pounds without supplemental braking. It's just good sense. Happy trails and hope to cross paths with you someday. Yeah. No, you know, if you're, if you're going to make a mistake, err on the safety side. <clears throat> you know, don't don't take risks and let, that you don't have to. There's no need. This is on the Kindle Paperwhite, Debbie. Well, here's one for you. Today I started off my trip from Chattanooga to California, and there wasn't 
<laughs> crap on the radio to listen to, so I turned on your channel, placed the videos on autoplay, and listened to you chat away. <laughs> Boy, I, I like that. Was better than listening to all the crap news on the radio. Thanks for keeping me company through Tennessee and Arkansas. My dogs listen to you too. Laugh out loud. Well, thank you, Debbie. This is Debbie again on comment call. Opening ad was for HalloweenCity.com. Now that was fun to watch till the end. Uh, yeah, well, I'm glad the ad was good. <laughs> Traveling with Rick, uh, RV industry stuff I did a long time ago. It says, I think the Spanish started squares in their city layout. They, ca they call them plazas. Yeah, I mean, they probably did, but we sure copied them because there's a town square in every little small town almost in the world. This is Scotty. He's got two. This is on a drive I did. A cool drive. You like driving your truck, Rusty? Yeah, I do. I like, I like to take drives. And this is Scotty. I have not gone on Amazon that much, only a couple of times. Mom, buy me a couple of shirts on there, Rusty. Well, that's good, Scotty. Enjoy your life one day at a time. This is on the 12-volt TV. Natural Man Gunsmoke, one of the best TV shows, maybe the best ever. Yeah, I watch a lot of those old reruns. Matt must have got shot about 50 times during that series. They really worked their tails off in those days on the TV shows. They had great stories, 35 or 40 one-hour episodes per year with a lot of beautiful scenery from the location work. That's why they were so good, I guess. Yeah, it was, and I think that thing lasted 20 years or more. Uh, Kendall, uh, Nail 4620, I wouldn't be without a Kendall either. I'm on my fourth one, I think. Kendall Unlimited is usually on sale Black Friday, if that's of interest to you. I read a lot and mostly just get free books on Amazon as well as from local library websites. Most libraries use the app called Overdrive. Also, if you have Amazon Prime, they have a free book offer at the beginning of each month. Yeah, they do, and, and I'm, I'm on Amazon Prime. It works for me. This is on Gray on the Kindle Paperwhite. <clears throat> the name is Gray. He says, hey, Rusty, I see you, you get on board with Amazon affiliate, he he, I recommended you do that when you had less than a thousand subs. Yeah, you have to have over a thousand subscribers to do Amazon affiliate program. <clears throat> and I know you read my comment, read my comment because you responded to it, saying that you would think about it. Okay, I have one more gripe. Ask of you, get a high quality microphone. Also, get a real deal laptop so you can record audio. If you need help or someone to show you how I can, I will donate my time to you, Rusty. You do an excellent job with this channel, and frankly, I very much look up to you. I'm too much of a wuss to put myself on YouTube. This is the video about the best mic for YouTube. Uh, well, thank you, Gray. <clears throat> But the audio quality is just going to be what it is. Uh, I'm not going to fool with a mic. I don't make enough great to go out and buy equipment. Uh, this mic on this thing will just have to do. Uh, thank you, though. And, you know, at some point I may, but I doubt it. Uh, you know, I'm not going to build a booth, and I'm not going to have uh, music intros, and I'm not going to get software to, to uh, dress it up and have, you know, four things happening at the same time. No. What you see is what you get, folks. <clears throat> Comment called Johnny Long. You should call your Google Home she instead of dude. It's a woman's voice. Actually, if you... Hey, Google. What sex are you? I'm all-inclusive. So you... It's, it, that thing is anything. 12-volt uh, TV, rambling band man. Tried to find it online. No luck. What is the model number? Thanks in advance. Uh, I got the box outside. I, got, I put it in another video. It, I think I'll run across that video in a minute. Hang on, rambling man. I put the I put that in a, in another video. Uh, Nathan, Elio Motors. It's not a scam. People don't put themselves out there like that for a scam. What is it? It's a great 
idea underpriced, underpriced from the start and with a flawed plan that investors are struggling to buy into, along with its founder, who again, great idea, but isn't willing to release control enough to be investor friendly. Okay. Uh, this is on the Ram 1500. Uh, Disney fan, it says, my truck is kind of basic, but not bad. Well, thank you. I feel better now. Uh, where did I go now? I tapped it and away it went. Oh, there it is. Uh, <clears throat> moving out, uh, moving from a big to a small. Andrew, are you going to sell it to your son? No. That, that'll that give you the money to pay towards your new one or a lot of spending money. No, I'm not going to sell I'm just going to give it to him. Are you going to sell Never mind. It's the same deal. She posted that comment twice. Some people do. That happens. Michael, this is Michael on the brake controller. Uh, where is the Amazon link? I, uh, I put it in later. Uh, you know, I don't put it in right away, Michael, but you can check any of my older videos and you'll find it. Uh, some I can't put the Amazon link in, or I don't until after the video is published or right when it's being published because <clears throat> I get, I'm always thinking that if I do, they'll demonetize it. But there, there's a link in there, or I, there was when I checked it. Uh, Kindle Paperwhite Fly and P2. This will be the last one. Uh, this is Fly and P2. I fly and have my A airframe and power plant mechanics license. The Kindle with the keyboard is the only Kindle to have a robot reading voice. Once you get past that voice and the way it reads, it's very nice when you go to sleep. There's speakers on the back. Uh, yeah, you know, you, you, he says, hope to see you in your new travel trailer soon. Me too. Uh, I'm trying to find that. I don't see the video I, where I posted the uh, the model number of the uh, deal. Hang on. Let me get that model number for you. It'll take me a second. got to get the box. <clears throat> okay. The old dogs are barking. It's still dark outside here, folks. Okay, the model number for the RCA Home and Travel 19 inch TV is right here. It is an RT 1971AC. Okay? Again, that's RT-1971 AC. That's on the ACDC 19-inch TV. And that ends the video today, guys. So thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, bye, USA made when you can. Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It's good for you, and you know why. Take deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. That relieves stress. Hold it for one second and breathe out through your mouth. Do that several times a day and it's good for you. It'll help. It'll lower your blood pressure. And what else? Stretch, walk, keep your health. You know, it's 7.09. It's still dark outside, so I'm a little early, aren't I? So I'll have to wait for the sun to come up. So anyway, you guys have a great day. And hopefully by maybe the end of this week, I'll have my new RV and be getting it going. And I'll be doing some videos about it. Hopefully, but we'll see. But anyway, guys, enjoy your week. Adios. Bye-bye.